we have Japan today. It is wet in Japan for the race. Yeah, that's right, chat. We've been live for 31 minutes. All I've done is play around with a marble for 20 of it. You're welcome. You know what? The YouTube, the people who watch the edited versions on YouTube, they don't get this part of the content. Oh my god, I get to pop the cherry. Yeah, Suzuka, fun race. Am I just going to stick with the same as before, where I tell Albon ninth and I tell Award... Has that gone down a place? He did get 11th last race. Is it worth just securing 9th and 13th every time, or do we gamble? Do we back him? I feel like before the middle option was 12th, and it's now actually gone down one. You know what? I've had a marble drink today, and that was a risk in my life. I'm feeling on edge. I'm, I'm feeling like a danger man today, like a, a danger man. As opposed to a stuntman, a danger man. I'm, I'm going to flirt with danger. We're going all out, 9th and 11th. Kanichiwa to you too, Crofty. Bloody hell, I bet he's been having one of these carbonated drinks too, hasn't he? Oh, I'm so ready. I'm so ready. I am a danger man. Now, it is going to be a wet Grand Prix. It says moderate rain. I'm going to hope it's not rain throughout the whole thing, because that's a bit boring. I don't feel like I need to save my tires like perhaps I normally would. So if we need to burn through them, we can. Ideally, I do basically what we did last two races. We get a good early time on the board. Only go out once in Q1, and then those you set from Q1 become the first tyres we use in Q2. And then rinse and repeat. Right, strolls coming out. There is going to be one land stroll on the track. No other traffic is pretty nice. I feel like I've not had, like, a crazy race besides Singapore last season. Like, in terms of retirements and DNFs and stuff. Oh, don't block me here, please. Please. Ah! I'm fine. Everything's absolutely fine. The key when you're a team principal is to remain calm and not scream at traffic. That was obnoxiously loud, and I would like to apologise. Uh, Albon's time there was a 38-2. He lost 1.4 seconds to Award. He will be going out again, I'm afraid to say. Award might be good with a banker there, but yeah, Albon is definitely going to have to go out again. I think Award should be fine there. I mean, the good news is Award's fastest right now. The bad news is Albon's definitely going out again. We are going to have a wild Lando Norris, potentially in the way. There's a bit of a scrap going on in front. Perez is behind a Ferrari. I'm not sending Award out again here. We're on used tyres. I feel like we should be able to improve by enough to make out of here with these tyres. What is going on in front with Perez and... Is it Leclerc? No, it's Hamilton. Is it Hamilton? It is Hamilton. Hamilton has got Perez directly behind him. They are going to fight in front. This is qualifying if you're just tuning in. I'm a little bit concerned for Albon, but as long as he doesn't get mudded, we're fine. I do not like the fact these guys are scrapping in front, especially because Albon's already in a bit of danger. We've got a Lando Norris up the road. I think he is the only car we're going to have to navigate. What are they doing in front? I don't like it. There's also a Lando Norris to get past in a second here. This is scary, isn't it? Hamilton could go out. Okay, that's the traffic navigator. Chat, I think we're going to get a mega tow here. I don't think I've lost that much time behind these guys. And I don't think they're going to scrap to a point where they end up blocking us. I could be wrong. I could be very, very wrong. I mean, are we going to get the run on both of them? We can't go free wide here. What are we doing? Oh my god, the traffic has blocked Hamilton. Hamilton's out. Unless he's going to abandon his lap. Hamilton is out. He finished second, I think, in China with a crazy one-stopper. Albon has to improve it. He is improving. He's going to get a crazy toe. Surely this is an insane lap. <laughs> Clap it in. Clap it in. We love that. I think Hamilton's out. I think Hamilton is out. What's the verdict? What's the verdict? It, it was spiffing, mate. It was truly a stupendous run, dear Alexander Albon. Yeah, Hamilton is out. When I get into F1, I've been watching F1 for as long as I can remember. Like, yeah, I... My I, I my earliest earliest memories of F1, I kind of watched it when I was maybe four or five. It's just, it was always the thing that was on in my house. I was forced to go to church as a little kid, and I'd get back from church, and my dad, who didn't have to get forced to go to church, would have the F1 on. <laughs> Still not fair that I was forced to go. Oh, clear ahead. Yeah, let's go for it. 
Let's go for it. I tell you what, I love Dudley. I love Dudley, who's O'Ward's race uh, engineer. But Ricky, I like it when he just says it's time to fight. It, may, it makes me feel like I want to put on like a Spartan helmet and hold a Gladius in my hand. That RB car is bloody quick in it, chat. I'll tell you what, Albon's getting a little tasty toe here, this lap. It's been really clean. No traffic to worry about whatsoever. We're chilling. We are chilling. Is this... This bloke is on a push lap in front. It's Danny Rick. I'll tell you what, the Aston Martin has not looked very quick. Sergeant up to 11th in the Williams car. Not Sergeant, sorry, Signs. That's going to throw me off, isn't it, this year? Albon up to 5th. Pato, where can you park it? Is Verstappen on an in-lap? No, he's on a flying lap. Okay, well, he got purple in set to do. He will be making it through. I think we're going to get both drivers in here again. I mean, there's a chance here, right? We know that Ferrari, McLaren, and Red Bull are in their own little universe. But on days like today, where Hamilton qualifies 22nd, and Verstappen qualifies first, we have to make the most of that and try and break into the top six. That has to be the aim. Really not far, by the way off the guys in front Albon. A little bigger gap for a war, but that's that's pretty decent. It's a shame it's going to rain tomorrow. Is Perez catching? No, okay, that's good. Albon's gone slower. I'll tell you what, Albon's had a stinky first set there. Awards had a really good sector. Awards raw pay seems really good, chat. He's out-qualified Albon both races so far. I think his smoothness on race days lets him down, but in terms of actual qualifying... He is very, very good. Right, what is going to happen here? I don't think Albon's going to improve by much, but I could be wrong. He doesn't improve at all. Award, what can you do? Take the wheel. Take the wheel, Pato Award. How has he done that? I mean, Norris is about to cross the line and presumably go quicker. Hold. Hold. Who's next? Piastri? Didn't improve in Sector 2. Well, that's annoying. Uh, I mean... Leclerc, I think, is the last driver on a push lap. Maybe? Okay, fifth suddenly doesn't look as impressive, does it? Is Yuki on a push? No. Fifth! Fifth for the duck! Biblical scenes. I mean, so far this season, we've struggled to get both drivers into the points, haven't we? So would it make the most sense to try something like this? Maybe go for a aggressive first stint into a more calm second stint, just try and pit early, get in some clean air? The issue I've got is Pato's smoothness isn't very good. I might not go for inters at the uh, sorry mediums at the end. It might be softs. So I'll be honest, with these kind of races, you kind of just block out a rough plan. It will change during the race. Because it's going to be wet for a decent chunk as well, we will lower the fuel. I want to say slightly. I'm going to go. I'm going to go two down, which is a bit of a gamble, but I think it's worth it. Maybe actually, I'll go one lap down with uh, uh, Pato and two down with, with Albon. I think that's the play. I should also point out that in in the official canon of this save game, Blue Crayon Man is our former race engineer, Gary. Gary, Gary is blue crayon man chat. No one can convince me otherwise. I mean, Award is starting fifth. Like, with a wet race, bit of chaos going on, he could do very, very well. Okay, the time has come. Kenichiwa, etc. That's what Crofty says, isn't it, before every race, before the weekend. Can you see the cars? Can you guys see them? They're over there somewhere. All right, where's Pato? Here he is. In fact, no, th th this is Albon in ninth. Should we go on board with Albon? Why not? I assume everyone is on Inters here. Yes. Yeah. Okay, there's not going to be much variety in strategy until later on. The interesting thing, Perez has got damage already. Has Perez run over a curb? He must have done. Has Perez just had the award of Australia treatment there? Curb damage on the first lap. That... Could be interesting. Does, does that open up the podium? Probably not, but let me dream. Albon purple sector one. You love to see it. All right, I can't push on the fuel too crazily. So the interesting thing here really is going to be how these inters work. 
My weather center, which is inaccurate, says the rain should stop around lap 36 and get dry then. With Pato, we're going to push hard and pit for a second set of inters. With Albon, I'm going long on the same set of inters. Albon whispered his tyres in Australia with a one-stopper. And I hope that in the rain we can do the same here. And here's the thing. DRS doesn't really matter, does it? The second gap doesn't matter that much. Instead of worrying about keeping up, maybe I should just run my own race. Signs, by the way, £23 million for William Season 2 with their new white livery. We've not seen much of it at the back. Oh. Chat, is that the worst lockup you've ever seen in F1 Manager? Doesn't look like anyone is saving their tyres besides Albon, Verstappen and Hamilton. Of course, with O'Ward here, we're pushing these tyres hard. We're going to pit early and try and get a nice undercut on all the other people um, who are going to go two sets of inters. Yellow flag! Yellow flag! Ricardo is out! Ricardo is out! He is in the gravel. Is he going to get going? He locked up. What happened here? Oh my word, he could have taken out Lance Strong. The game is fixed. He went through it. Did you see that? He went through his teammate. He's back on the track as well. Of course he is. Just magically teleports. Hamilton's made up one place. I'm fuming. Both of Aston Martin should be out. It is rigged. This race has been manipulated, man. I'm going to just alternate between attack and aggressive on O'Ward. Just keeping a close eye on tyre attempts. I think that's the play. There's definitely some drivers on the same strategy as Albon, by the way. Trying to make their tyres last for a one-stop onto dries when it dries out. I think Leclerc and Verstappen are the same. And then there's a load of people going for the same idea as O'Ward. Perez, I think, is really struggling with that damage. I mean, we kind of saw that with O'Ward, right, last race. Well, not last race. It was in Australia. The underfloor absolutely mudded him. There's going to be a chance here, isn't there? There is going to be a chance. Pato is cooking. Very high aggression. You know what? Make it work. The pack isn't getting too spread out either. So if Pato needs to pit early to throw off his inters, we're fine. I'll tell you what, chat. We are cooking. He is cooking, is this boy. Award in a podium spot. Piastri has been left by now. If Perez could hold up Piastri for a bit, that would be the dream. Although... Don't celebrate yet, Pato. He's alongside you. I don't like this. This is good. This is good, but you have got to get the move done. Oh, he's got it done. Yeah, 2.6. Bloody send it, lad. Is that going to be a new fastest lap? Verstappen just got it. Oh, he's got it back. Reports of awards de death greatly exaggerated. I think Perez is going with the strategy that involves pitting twice in the race. So I think some guys, for people just coming in, who are massaging their inters are going to go into straight onto the dry tyres. We're expecting Sun around lap 35. Perez is staying behind no ward, sadly. But, you know what? Third and seven, we're cooking. Album strategy chat. I don't want to say it too loudly. And I know this is going to sound like I'm doing a ward dirty. If, Al if Albon can make the one stop work, which is a bit of a big if because I don't know about the rain, Albon could be on for the podium. That is like the most likely thing in terms of what can work out well for us. Because I think if everyone else pits around us, the only issue is, is if it dries earlier than everyone else is expecting. Maybe everyone else's weather set is telling them correctly it's going to dry sooner. But that, that's actually moved back a little bit. I think it was lap 36 earlier. It's now saying lap 37 it's going to be dry. Albon smoothed it. So, I mean, smoothed this is just so good. It, like, I'd almost rather have a driver who's better smoothness wise than maybe not having the craziest one lap pace. Because just strategy wise, it gives you options. Yellow flag, yellow flag. Who's had a moment? Multiple cars have crashed. Hulkenberg is off the track. Who did he hit? Oh, it's Joe and Hulkenberg. Ooh, ooh. It's two drivers who swapped seats last year. That is naughty, isn't it? That is. That is cheeky. The cheeky girls would be proud of that one. That is Hulkenberg mudded. Is that another spot gained, by the way, for Hamilton? Hamilton's just making overtakes by virtue of that people are crashing around him. Joe got given a penalty, by the way. He got his revenge for losing his seat, but it's cost him five seconds. Maybe that's a good trade-off. Piastri, by the way, has caught up to the back of Perez and O'Ward. In fact, he's just set the fastest lap of the race. He's flying. 
Looks like Hamilton is now pushing got his tires. I thought he was doing a one-stopper at one point, but look at his wear compared to Albon's. He is now sending it as hard as Sonoda has been. Perez just got dropped by the way there by Piastri. Piastri's more scary behind. Piastri got passed, but can we get him up the inside? I want to believe we can, but actually, for the sake of our race, top-up is probably a better option here right now. Because we might need to do some on-track overtakes on back markers if any of them try and extend their interstint. Uh, I don't like this. I really don't like this chicane too wide. Uh, Magnussen has damage. Of course, Kevin has damage. I'll tell you what, that Perez... Even with floor damage, I'm not faster than him. We're ready for you. We are in our pit window, though. How many races are we doing today? We're going to do two. We're going to do this race, and then we've got Bahrain after this. For season two, we are running the real 2025 calendar. So we started in Australia. Bahrain and Saudi follow each other as the fourth and fifth races of the year. Our world gets back ahead of Perez. This is, this is a nervy race. Almond's caught up to Yuki, by the way. Tires are getting cold. I want to save these tires, but I also need to push them. Chat, that dryness is getting later, isn't it? I feel like the laps here are based on dry lap times. Really, it should be a time rather than a lap thing. But each night is essentially a dry lap. So because we're running on a wet track, the kind of rain is always going to move to the right. Or the right. I'm, this is my left, but to you, it's the right with the graph. If that's the case... These tyres might need to last longer. If the track gets dry here, though, it could be pretty bad for Albon in terms of trying to make his tyres last because the wear will be much, much higher if we're on a uh, dry track, even for just a few laps. Okay, Russell is pitting now. He's going to try and get the undercut on a ward. I think we've got enough of a gap. I need to see where Russell comes out here. I think he's going to get stuck behind signs. Whereas we should be able to clear signs in the pits. Ooh, okay. That's really bad. Really, really bad for Russell. He had a... Uh, I was going to say a bad in-lap. That in-lap includes his time in the pit lane. I'm going to pit end of the next lap chat. It's getting concerningly dry to the point there's a yellow flag. There's a yellow flag... What happened? It's one spun. It wasn't us, was it? I hope it wasn't us. It's Hulkenberg. He's already at the back, bless him. That is a weird spot. I've never seen a spin there playing this game ever before. That's a funny spin. He got back on the track good, though, didn't he? That was good. Okay, the wear on these tyres is about to go through the ceiling while we run it on a dry track. This is really jeopardising the one-stop. But for someone like Russell, who's just put on fresh inters, he's also losing the best of these tyres very quickly in this stint. It's going to get wetter, chat, according to Blue Crown Man. It's into, uh, dry tyres are not the play. This is a grit your teeth and bear it kind of moment here. Come over a good stop, please. Not bad. 2.5. We got a 2.2, I think, yesterday. Track's not drying out anymore either. I need it to get wetter quick. I mean, everyone's going to be in the same situation here. I had to pit Pato that lap, sadly. I couldn't keep him out for another lap. Oh, it's getting wetter. It's getting wetter. We're good. Slowly but surely, it's getting wetter. This is not... This is fine. Everything is fine. We've come out behind Stroll and Sargent. But we got in that gap ahead of Signs. I'm really hoping now... But Stroll pits and Sergeant pits. Aston just pitted with Danny Ricks. I think there's a chance here they do the pit stop that I want them to do. Annoyingly, Stroll hasn't pitted. Do I know that P Pato is duck in Spanish? I do. Uh, I, I, I do. You must be new to the streams. Welcome. We, we do like the, uh, the ducks fly together. We like our Mighty Ducks references in relation to Pato. Okay, the track's damp again, chat. We're good. That was a minor panic there. But we're golden. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Albon's tyres are in such a good spot for the one-stopper here. 
My only concern is if the rain doesn't arrive soon enough. Which is why I have to conserve the tyres. We might have to run some laps with them being cold. Because the rain is going to arrive. It's going to dry out a bit later, I think, than what it suggests here. If a safety car happened now, would I pit Albon? I don't think I would. If a safety car happened now, I'd just keep Albon out and he could look after these inters. And he'd get bunched up. I think we'd lose any advantage of going as long as we have on these. I mean, here's the thing, chat. So far this year, we've struggled to get double points. In fact, we've not got double points yet. Okay, Verstappen and Piastri are both pitting. But yeah, so far this year, we failed to get double points. I'd rather gamble to try and get one of the drivers really high than play it safe. We've split the strategy. I mean, Albon's now running in second. Max Verstappen is ahead on fresh inters. Safety car now be good. A red flag would actually be good. Also, Alonso and Piastri in the pits. And Ward went for that really aggressive earlier kind of run on the Inters, and I think that's worked out for him pretty well. Mm, I don't really want to deploy the battery. I'm going to need it when it dries out later. Ultimately, our race isn't really with Leclerc. <laughs> I can't keep up, chat. He's too quick. The worst thing, chat, that could end up happening here is I'm out on Inters that get to like 30%. The track isn't dry yet, and I'm forced to either run the Inters below 30% and risk the puncher and get it, or I go onto the slicks too early. I mean, ultimately, considering where we started, it's a pretty mega position that we find ourselves in here with Albon, with a risky strategy. Safety car would be the dream. I mean, a safety car now would be absolutely mega for a free stop. Especially because a lot of the guys who pitted for that second set of inters, a bit like uh, O'Ward did, are going to be pushing these hard because they know they're going to go off them sooner rather than later. I mean, if you're on mediums, it'd be less problematic. It's less about being on the mediums long. Oh my god, he's gone wide there. The issue here is less about the mediums now long the softs will last. It's more about being on slick tyres when the track's dry. You lose a lot of time being on slick tyres if it's dry. I don't think Perez can get past the ward. I say that, he'll probably get past us now very quickly. But with no DRS, track is due to dry out around lap 38. He got past us, chat. Why did I say anything? I've jinxed that. I'll hold up my hands and admit it. I'm, I've made... I've made an error there. Has he been bullied there a little bit? You know what? We didn't crash. And that Red Bull is quick. We probably held him up for a little bit as well. Perez's tire wear is really high. Like, he will get past us here. But once he's past us, I don't know if he's going to be able to pull that far away, in all honesty. Cold tires, wheel-to-wheel -wheel racing. Why am I scared? He's got us in the exact same spot. Or has he? Has Albon got more about him than Pato Award? We're all wondering it. Uh, but there's, <laughs> there's the answer. No. No. It's not worked out. Okay, here's the thing. Sixth and fifth is good. Yuki is gaining on us slowly. Award is entering the world where I probably have to ask Alex to let him buy. But I kind of need to wait for Hulkenberg. To get out of the way. This actually wouldn't be a bad time to get this done on this straight. He's quicker than Alex. I'm really sorry. It's going to hurt your pride a little bit here, son. Pa Pato is quicker. Pato, Pato is quicker. I'm, ju I'm just talking live to him. Pa I'm sorry, mate. Pato is quicker. He's on fresh tyres. He's had track position on you all day. You've, you've got to let him by. Around the final corner we go. Right. We're chilling. We're chilling. Well, it's going to dry lap 38. I need to do five more laps on 43% wear. Oh, we're going to have to gamble it. There's going to be a point here where our tyre wear goes below 30%. And it's, it's going to get squeaky bum time, I'm afraid to say. I don't love it. It's the situation in the world we live in. Can it start to dry yet, though? The blue crayon man said lap 36 is lap 35. Where's the dry? 
Where is the dry? He's lied to me. Oh god, they're behind pa they're behind Albon. It was meant to be dry now. I mean, we're still going to end up ahead of Stroll. We're, at worst, we're going to lose one position taking a gamble that might actually help Pato secure his position. So I'm I'm not actually that annoyed. Let's give it everything now. The rain stopped. Chat is drying. It is drying in the pit lane. Also, these guys really should be flying past Albon. If they don't fly past him, they are being held up by him. Thanks. Cheers, Jeff. I know, I know that's me stating the obvious. I think pushing the fuel here to try and keep these guys behind is now the play. Albon's doing a mega job there to ploy now. It's, it's drying. It's not drying at a uniform rate either. I think it's going to be one more lap. It's a long lap here, by the way. I think it's going to be one more lap for Albon. Award's a bit further ahead, so maybe two laps for him. Okay, one more lap for Albon. I'm going to have to pit then. Tires are going to be too marginal anyway. I think I can go on aggressive for one lap here. It's really tight as to whether or not it's going to be soft next lap. Or the uh, lap after. But I think if I pit at the end of this next lap, it might be wet when we come in. It will probably be dry as we exit, is my hope. I'll know if I've made the right decision if Norris pits at the same time. If Norris follows us in, we're golden. It's not drying as quick as I was hoping. Chat, I might have to do another lap with Albon here. I think I have to do another lap. It is not dried enough. It slowed down how much it was drying, sadly. I'm going to deploy out of here to try and stay ahead. Note the word, try. Oh, it's not drying quick, chat, is it? Yeah. It's not drying quick. But if nothing else, we're costing Lando time. Award made up a second on uh, Lando here. Albon's very, should we say, conservative drive is potentially earning Pato fifth. If it gets to 25 by the time we hit the chicane, I'm going to pit. It's drying. Mm. I think I have to pit. I have to pit. There's no point in being in these tyres. It's a gamble. It's a longish pit lane as well. It's over 20 seconds, which isn't that long, but some are sub 20. It's 23 second pit. It's a long lap. Right, we want it to dry quick now. It might be a lap too early. We'll find out when we go against Norris, but I feel like it's more of a gamble to get a puncture there by staying out versus being on the dries here. Good stop. Decent stop. It's going to be a bit slow here. I kind of need it to dry a lot more, but I didn't have a, an option really. If I stayed out, there was too much of a risk of a puncture. It's trying reasonably quickly. It's going to be dry by the end of the lap. It might be a lap too soon, but it's a lap too soon versus risking a puncture. I know which I'd rather go for. No one else has pitted yet, which makes me a little worried for Albon. But you know what? In Albon, we trust. It's going to be dry, but when we're halfway through the lap, which kind of, to me, reinforces the idea that it probably wasn't the most awfully timed pit stop to try something different and just to not risk a puncture. Right, is anyone ahead going to pit? Is anyone ahead going to pit? No. Track's dry. We're pitting. This could be great for Pat or it could be a gamble. Surprised that Perez didn't pit there. Because it is going to be below 90 by the time we go in. Norris stays out another lap. So does... Are they going to try and make the Inters last to the end? Surely not. I'm very confused as to why I'm spinning. That was a good stop, by the way. How is that? Sick fastest. We'll take that. We'll take that. Clean air as well for Pato. Nice, 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 nice. How far was Albon behind... Um, oh, sorry, ahead of N Norris. It was pretty much nothing, right? It was half a second. That's going to be the thing to compare Albon to. Okay, Ricardo's pitting. Leclerc's pitting. Verstappen stayed out. Interesting. I think we might have timed this really well. I 
I think this might have been timed very, very well. Yeah, we still need more lifting posts. Who is this bat marker? And can they get out the way? Is anyone at risk of a puncture? Bottas is not in a great spot on a dry track. Oh my god, who is that on the Inters? I'm not sure. Right, Lando, Lando's in the pits. <gasps> it's a slow stop! It's a slow stop! And he's got held even longer. Where's Award? Award is in fifth. Albon sets a fastest lap of the race. Where does he come out? Oh my god, we've got him in the pits. Tire wear's not ideal. We've got Alonso behind us. The, you know what? The pit stop was timed okay. The only risk is going to be the tyre wear here. We look good. I'll be honest. We look pretty good now with where we are. And if we could just do a little bit more lifting. Perez is on inters. Verstappen pit. Surely Piastri is going to pit off his inters now. Red Bull have stayed out here and they are now limping around. We're cooking. We are cooking. Russell on mediums? Interesting. Piastri does pit. I mean, it might be a bit tricky for Albon to hold off Alonso and Norris on slightly fresher softs, but then again, Norris is four seconds back. It's pretty good. Piastri coming out. Perez is coming out. I don't think we're going to come out ahead of Perez, sadly. Ah. Mm. Alonso's got Albon. Right. Patience, young Padwan. Patience. Award fastest lap. He's a god. He is a god amongst men. The issue I've got is I've not got a lot of charge here. I mean, Norris, you'd expect to catch us. It's Alonso sending his tyres. I've got to manage my tyres a little bit here. But I'll, I'll push them nearer the end. I feel like, chat, I probably timed that as best as I could. I don't think it was worth running the risk of Albon of running the extra lap with the puncture. We didn't lose that much time by paying a lap earlier. The only issue is obviously the tyre delta is a bit off. But well, that's okay. Ten laps. Ten laps. A safety car? VSC. Oh my god, it's massive. It's actually massive. What happened? What caused the VSC? It wasn't us, was it? Yep, copy. VSC now is actually poggers. Ricardo crash. Danny Rick, you beautiful man. Turn nine VSC. Did he just go into the barrier, lose the rear? Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's a gearbox. Okay. That's going to make the softs a lot less marginal at the end. Ricardo is out. It's a VSC. We can charge up. That might be doing us a favor. Might be. It's going to reduce the lap to which people can catch up with us. I mean, we're saving our tyres. The issue is everyone else obviously is saving theirs as well. I'm trying to push the fuel chat even under VSC to burn it. But you don't actually burn it any, any under VSC. Okay, we have got a rather scary Perez behind here. The Alpine. Oh my god. That is, I'll be honest, that's not ideal for Award, but at least he's not hit him. And Perez lost time there, and we've sent it. Magnussen, Kevin! Kevin might have done us the biggest favour ever. He nearly blocked the track. He spun. We got around him, but Perez hit the brakes. Kevin. Up the K-Mag. Two-second gap. And now, is it a two-second gap, or is it a 1.8-second gap? The game doesn't know. Now Lawson's locked up. He's all kicking off at the end. I can't pull away, chat. He's too quick. Even with floor damage, he keeps up with me. It's not fair. I've also got Norris here trying to... Uh, Norris here? Yeah, behind us. Is this Kevin again? Kevin, can you spin again and do me another favour? Block Norris for me. Oh, my God. Oh, he actually has. I, I, Kevin Magnussen might be helping us here. There's another yellow flag. Is Kevin crashed again? It's not us. Someone went wide somewhere. Signs ran wide. Oh, my word. Perez is just right behind us. Chat, I've had everything turned up. I can't contain him. I can't contain him. I need to save battery to use when I need it. He's going to get us with DRS. He's just set the fastest lap of the race. I can't do that. 
Oh, there's another yellow flag. What is happening here? It, it, th there is a lot happening. Strolls run wide. It's very stressful, isn't it? Ah. Mm. I mean, you don't want to go there. Just, you know, FYI. If you're new to Formula 1, not the optimal line. I mean, we'll try and hold them back, you know. We'll give it a go, but it's going to be tricky. There's just no point even deploying with Halbon here. Did we start 6th for 9th? Chat, where did we start? Was it 5th for 9th we started? I mean, we've not got double points yet this year, and our qualification was buoyed by the fact that Hamilton and Norris qualified out of position. Like, Hamilton started last, Norris started 10th. It's okay, Alex. It's okay. It's not worth it, mate. Finishing ahead of Russell would be really nice. If we could stay ahead of the RB car at Alonso, that would be mega because I think they are going to be our big rival this year. I think RB and Mercedes are the teams to battle. Oh, Yuki's... Yuki's... Uh, I don't like... Yuki Tsunoda's just bloody quick, isn't he? <laughs> That's all there really is to it. Yuki Tsunoda, fast F1 driver. I mean, if Yuki gets past us here, I don't mind just following him. Trying to get him back with DRS later on. Six, Six laps, laps left, agreed Dudders. We can do it. Don't panic. Don't panic while you go around the outside. Okay, you've not. Good. Pato, you're still on high overtake aggression. We don't have to get past Yuki yet. Just chill behind him. Let him waste his tyres trying to get away. I don't know what bat marker this is here, but if you could do me a favour, that would be divine. Who is it? Who is that? Is it? Is it Bottas? It's Valtteri. Valtteri is Jack. If you can block Yuki for me, I'll invite you to my birthday party. I mean, Yuki is not dropping us here. Traffic, traffic, don't block me. Block him, don't block me. Block him, don't block me. Block him, don't block me. Don't block me. The issue is, Sonoda's now going to get DRS for this next bit. I mean, wait, are we getting a bit of a slipstream here to catch up with Perez, or am I going crazy? What's Perez's lap time here? Let's, you know, let's just get a toe. Let's get a toe. This is grand. Yuki, get us to Perez. I feel like I'm Santa. And Yuki Tsunoda is Rudolph. He is getting us where we need to be. How's Albon doing? Albon's just in his own little world now, isn't he? Bless him. He's just living his best life in the middle of the pack. He has nothing really to race for. Unless Norris, you know, locks up into Alonso. That'd be good. Please, F1 manager. It's been another very clean race, by the way. I know we had the one VSC and a couple of incidents, but actually, there's not been a great deal happened here. I think Perez has stomped on the throttle this lap. Next lap is the lap we go for it. Can we get a Yoshi for the nostalgia? Absolutely not. Oh, is there a back marker here that we're catching up to? Or is that just Perez? I think it actually is just Perez. Okay, chat, not now, not now. This is not the lap to do it. Next lap is the lap we send it on Yuki. So by having deploy turned on, chat, through sections where you'd normally deploy the bat battery in neutral, you'll actually use net more. Oh, we're so close behind him here. Doming Albon is going to be able to catch Alonso, sadly. But we are so close behind Yuki. This is exactly where I wanted to be. I just have to get the overtake done here. So one remaining. Chilling. Chilling. Right. I have to go into neutral through this sector. And then I can deploy and still have charge. I'm pretty sure from the kind of hairpin in sector two onwards. Right, deploy now. We good. 
Verstappen wins. Everyone pretend to be shocked. We'll deploy through here. We're chilling. Albon is actually catching up, bizarrely, with Alonso. Is Alonso about to hit traffic? Alonso's behind Norris. Could he chat? I mean, Yuki's not getting him here, is he? Yuki's not getting him here. It's game over. It's power ward. Biff. You love it. Albon, I think, is just a bit too far back, sadly. Award gets fifth. Mega drive. Albon is chilling. Gets ninth. You know what? That's pretty good. That is pretty good. We'll take that. Hamilton gets 11th for the Believers. You know what? That was that was pretty good. That was a pretty well-managed final bit there with Award against Yuki. I knew exactly what I was setting up for. We executed the plan. We love it. We absolutely love it. Clap it in, lads. Clap it in. Who knew that Mick Schumacher was holding us back? I realised, chat, all of that for our drivers not to move positions. <laughs> we did all of that. We didn't gain or lose any positions. Albon 8th, Pato 9th, Constructors Championship, watch out world, RB, Merck. Your boys took one hell of a beating. Fastest pit stop, we got one point. You know what? What well, wasn't our day for pit stops, but we're still in fourth. The Ultras still have to be happy with that. Chat, you can't see the amount of money behind my head. Are you ready for this? I mean, you could add it up. Boom. 1.4 million for one race. We used to dream of times like these.